using a carer's passy issue. I believe that children shouldn't be using a passy past the age of two. And I know that most dentists would agree with me. This is what we're going to do. We are going to deal with these passies once and for all. <laughs> In the past, our failed attempts with carrying the passy were not really Kara's fault. They were, I believe, Christy not wanting Kara to grow up. So we are going to have a passy hunt throughout the house. And we are going to put all the passies into this jar. And today, you are going to give up the passy because you don't need it anymore. You're big girl. Let's see how many we can get each. I'm gonna leave this in here and we'll put them in there when we find them. Ready? I'm looking first. I know I'm off. Let's have a look in. Where's Green? I got mine and go, go. Woo! Okay, me was looking. There you go. Come on. Thanks. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. I got two. There might be one in the car. Oh, look at the blue one. Yay! The thing is, is that parents get stuck in a rut and they give up too early. But if only they would look to deal with this issue with a new approach, then they would resolve this situation. And I think that was the case with carers pacifiers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in the trash can, we're gonna throw them away. Putting them all in the jar and having Kara throw away the pacifiers was really neat. Oh yeah. There she goes. Woo! I mean, I wanted them to go, so I was happy about that. She threw the patties away and she brought it up a couple of times and then she moved on and you know sometimes just, that's just how it is with kids. Resolving the situation with Kara and the patty shows that if these parents choose not to sit back and accept the status quo then things will change and I wanted to use this momentum to stop these girls from drawing on those walls. Joe came up with a really neat idea. She had built three little frames, and in the frame there were big pieces of office paper. As you will see, each pad tears off, and then just replace it. Now that I'd briefed Mum and Dad about how the drawing pads would work, it was time for them to explain it to the kids. Mum and Dad, do you want to explain what we've got? Then this is Ellie's pad of paper. That's Emma's pad of paper, and that last one is Kara's pad of paper. That's right. But guess what it's really for? See all that stuff on the wall? Well, this is to keep you girls from doing that, okay? And we don't want to see any more writing on the walls, all right? Where's the box of crayons? <laughs> oh, there's crayons. Now with the wall murals, nobody will be writing on the wall anymore. And a little eyeball, with little eyelashes, and a big smile. The wall mural was a great success. However, I still need to tackle this family's biggest issue, and that's bedtime. And now Kara doesn't have a pacifier to soothe her. Will it be drama? So tonight, there's a new bedtime routine. And the bedtime routine is going to be about you girls feeling very safe and secure in your own bedrooms. Where do I begin with bedtime? It's just insane, really. It's created such sleep deprivation that it's destructive to the whole family. In a couple of minutes, Kara is going to go and get washed and she's going to have stories read to her. You girls are going to go and take a shower or a bath. Giving the girls a bedtime routine where it's staggered, so they all go to bed at different times, which allows the parents to wind them down and to read stories to them. Just allows the whole process of bedtime to happen much smoother than what it was before. Aladdin and Abu gasped as they saw all the gold and jewels in the cavern. Can you lay down? I'm gonna sleep later. No. She's not sleeping. <laughs> Sorry? She says she's going to sleep later. Oh, she did, did she? Mm -hmm. This is what you are going to do, okay? The stay in bed technique, okay? She comes out the first time, you say to her, it's bedtime, darling. Tuck her in and come out. The second time, you say it's just bedtime. The third time, you say nothing. Good night, Kara. Then mum placed Kara into bed and she came out straight away and then it really was tantrums and tiaras. She didn't want to be going to bed on her own.
She continued to cry and mum sat on the sofa. Her heart was just really feeling emotionally what Kara was going through. Tell me, tell yourself, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? <sighs> because it's, well, it has to be done. Don't give me the answers that you've, that you've memorised from listening to me. Really think about why we're doing this. I needed mum's attention for her to focus on why it is important that these kids get to sleep and that she gets a good night's sleep as well. It's just not easy. No, it's not. But no, it's only change. No, it's not because she's going, oh, you're so mean, you're a mean mummy, you don't love me, you're abandoning me. That's not that cry. I was feeling very, very sad. I could never have done that without Joe there. With Kara already down, Dad put the other two girls to bed, and whilst I was talking to Mum, I realised that within an hour, all three were asleep. Oh, look at that. Your kids are in their own beds. You know, nine o'clock, and lights were out for everyone. Mum and Dad came downstairs and really didn't know what to do with themselves. I'm leaving for a couple of days. This is about you guys putting in the techniques and continuing, because soon I'm going to be going for good. So this is an important part of what we're doing here. I'm nervous about when Joe leaves that we'll resort back to our old ways. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. I knew that whilst I went around, that mum would really have to step it up. But this was the first time that I was going to be leaving mum and dad alone by themselves in eight years. Stay there and just hug my mother, huh? Coming up on Super Nanny. As soon as Joe leaves, the Shroggies resort to their old ways. I can't just sit up there listening to her scream. I love you, Mommy. And Joe won't stand for it. It's all over. No. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Parents, are you looking for a creative way for your children to say thank you? If so, have them draw a picture on a large index card and then frame it yourself and have them jot a little thank you note on the back. It's fun for them whilst teaching gratitude. 